Growing up in the De La Rosa household was always a loud and busy affair. There always seemed to be lots of commotion going on. Uh, with six kids, it was kind of hard to avoid. We'd always, always, always sit together as a family, say dinner, grace as a family. Um, my mom and dad made it a point to uh, get back to the community, to be a part of the community. We were friends with all of our neighbors. My parents went to every PTA meeting and were part of every extracurricular activity that uh, we got involved in. My mom is the hardest working person I've ever met. She had all of us kids and she'd get up at dawn, say the rosary, make sure we had what we needed for school. My dad, um, we've all met Manny De La Rosa. He is a force of nature. Um, my dad is a people person. It is incredibly important to them not only to um, have faith, but to live that faith. And living that faith means to, uh, to embrace the people around them and to form meaningful relationships. And they're now their entire lives revolve around the parish and the people that they live, love and serve there. Jose Manuel de la Rosa was born on May 18, 1958 at Hotel Du in El Paso, Texas. Manny and his sister Maria de los Angeles were raised in their grandmother's house in Ciudad Juarez. It wasn't until Manny was six that he moved to El Paso and attended St. Joseph Elementary. We lived with my maternal grandmother till I was six. Um, we moved to El Paso after my grandmother died uh, to take care of my father's grandmother. And we moved to a house on uh, Tularosa, um, the De La Rosas living on Tularosa. 2,375 miles away, Maureen Cannon was born in a suburb of Boston, Massachusetts in October 1959. Maureen was the fourth of six children and remembers the impact the church made on her family growing up. Our, our parents took us to church, yes, every uh, week usually, especially when we were younger. When we got into catechism, we went at a separate time, usually than our parents. And we could walk to the church. When I got older, um, my brothers and I would often walk to the anticipatory mass back when it first came out. That was a novelty, I suppose, too. And we could sleep in on Sunday mornings. Maureen and Manny would both attend Notre Dame University. Manny, a pre-med student, and Maureen, a chemistry major, would meet working in the university's cafeteria. He was my guide as I was just um, learning how to do some of the things. So he was showing me the ropes. Um, we met that way. We got to know each other. Um, we dated for a full three years um, and we ended up getting married after I graduated. They were married at the Sacred Heart Basilica of Notre Dame after Manny graduated. Through the years, God blessed them with six beautiful children. Michael, the oldest, was then followed by Mary, Megan, Melissa, and twins, Mercy and Max. There was always a lot of noise in my house, um, a lot of joy, um, and uh, there were six kids right on top of each other. Um, so it made for a lot of great shenanigans. So my parents were very involved in our childhoods and uh, taught us to become uh, very involved in the community around us. The easiest way to describe it is actually by sharing the prayer that my dad and my mom used to say on the way to school every day. And the way that the prayer goes is, Dear God, help me to do my best and try my best in everything I say and do today. And so that little prayer, I think, is capturing that lesson of have faith, pray like everything relies on God, and work like everything relies on you. Do everything that you can to the best of your ability, and at the end of the day, that's all you can do. And if you're really trying your best, and you're really doing your best, God will do the rest. Maureen has served on the Burkett Foundation Board for Catholic Education, and is actively involved at St. Raphael's Parish, participating in various ministries such as Eucharistic Minister, Spiritual Director, and Workshop Speaker. 
Manny co-founded the Catholic Foundation for the Diocese of El Paso and served on various diocesan boards and the St. Rayfield Parish Council. The ministry of uh, a bishop is not something he can do alone. And it, that's always been very clear to me. Of course, I need to lean on the Lord a lot, but the Lord I, I trust is always going to send people that will be there to help and guide and support and, and give ideas and so on. And, and I, I really believe that um, Maureen and, and Manny are that kind of gift from the Lord to me. In 2015, at the request of Bishop Mark Seitz, they were inducted into the Equestrian Order for the Holy Sepulchre of Jerusalem, a global organization of the Catholic Church to help preserve the Catholic faith in the Holy Land. To be knighted means that the Pope has asked us to step forward and help him. But this is the Pope saying, we want you to look a little bit further and see that um, our holy sites in the Holy Land are in danger of becoming museums. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre is an active parish. Um, the church where Peter denied Christ is an active parish. So to turn those things into museums so that the government can make money, it, it, it's worthwhile to go and visit and to support the people. Faith, family, and service are at the heart of their purpose, and being Catholic has strengthened them as a couple and as a family. Stewardship is, is, is about a way of life. And, and giving your time, talent, and, and treasure. And so being able to say, this is who we are, this is what we do, this is how we live, is how you're called to be a Catholic. And so I feel very, very, very lucky and very blessed to be able to delineate that and, and, and talk about that but I'm still that little 10-year-old boy that says, Yes, sir. It's not Monsignor Smith anymore, but, but God is calling you to do that. And you have to say, Yes, sir. If I would have to describe what my parents mean to me, It would be home. It would be family. Uh, home is often uh, described where your heart is. And for me, my home is where my family is.